Hello my friends and welcome back to Fallout 3 and we are in Megaton in my home, sweet home. I uh, got rid of a few things. I decided to take out of the closet my winterized power armor T-51B. Uh, it happens that the other armor that I got last video is it has 50 of damage resistance and this one has only 45 doesn't seem much but overall that one is better but given that this is like a new version a clean version let's put it like that uh, the other one is like a, a greenish very mossy very weathered down you know uh, I think this one is a, a more beautiful one so I'm going around with that I am going around with my fat man over here. Let me just... That's for the hell of it. Who knows when we're gonna be able to use a fat man, right? So, let me quick save here. Cut it out, will you? Hey! <laughs> Where? Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so, there you go. That's the, that's the fat man for you guys. And, uh... Today, I decided to go for the quest The Wasteland Survival Guide, which Moira Brown wants us to go to the Arlington Public Library. Now, the library is all the way down here. There, I have no uh, waypoint to, that, to this location yet. But I decided, nah, you know what, I think I'm gonna go to Rivet City. Where is Rivet City? There you go. I think I'm gonna go to Rivet City, I'm gonna talk to my father. And I'm gonna progress through the main story of the game, see what he has to say to us. And today is gonna be a let's let's progress to to the story, okay? There is not a shortage of missions. Keep in mind, the northern part of the map is pretty much undiscovered so far. I do want to go to Paradise Falls to do the slavery stuff there. I want to free all the slaves. I do want to go to the Oasis to talk to the tree, which I forgot the name, sorry. Old Oni will come in the story eventually, I guess. But for now, let's talk to our father and see what he has to say to us. Let's see how well we will progress in the story today. Hello, Harkness. How are you? Hope you're doing fine. He's in the science lab, I believe. Let me get rid of my gun, I don't need my gun right now. I look badass, I, I gotta say, I look badass. The science lab is this way. I could talk to Flack to buy a few more ammo for me. Because I do need ammo, you know? I told you it would work, Madison. And now, I can prove it. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like There's to a bubble head James, there. I really would. This is all just so... so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know, I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. 
It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Did you need something? We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. Won't that be dangerous? Probably. But we have to try, don't we? Yeah, I guess. It's too important for the people of the Wasteland to let fear stop us now. We need to get moving right away. Are you coming with us? Uh, all right, let's get going. That's my boy. It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. Wait. I'm not trying to put you off, but we need to get to Project Purity. I'm not trying to put you off, Come on. but we need to get to Project Purity. Anything else can wait until later. Oh, okay. That says intelligence bobblehead, which I'm not gonna get right now. Because how's my intelligence? It's at nine. Well, the intelligence bobblehead I actually could pick up now if I wanted to. But for the sake of consistency, let me just pick up it all in the end. I think it will be better. Uh, okay. Hey, Madison, let me talk to you. You found him? I can't believe it! Yeah? You have my thanks. We would be lost without James. I told you I would find him. So you did. I apologize for entertaining the thought of doubting you. Do you think Project Beauty will ever work again? I have faith in your father. With the knowledge he's gained, we stand a better chance than we ever have. Okay. I have to go now, I have to join him at Project Purity. Farewell. Yeah, you too. Yes? This is kind of exciting, isn't it? Yeah. I've always heard Dr. Lee talk about Project Purity, but I never thought I'd be going there. What's your story, Janice? I've been with Dr. Lee for about 10 years now. She needed an assistant, and I needed something to do. Fair enough. It was either this or wind up dead in a ditch someplace, you know? And do you think the Project Beauty will ever work again? I sure hope so. Or it's just going to crush Dr. Lee completely. Especially after your father came back and all. Okay, farewell. I'll see you there. So long. Hey, Garza. I am unsure how useful I will be at this purity project, but I am happy to do whatever I can to help Dr. Lee. What's your story? I have worked for Dr. Lee for many years. She has been good to me, helped me through some difficult times. I had little purpose in my life before she helped me. So now, I help her in return. I am no scientist, but I am good with machines. That's fair enough. You have your use. Everyone has. Uh, and do you think the project will ever work again? If Dr. Lee says it will work, then it will be so. With our help. So let's go. Bye. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. I kind of wanted to, but okay. My bad. Oh, that's a bad if I stay at the hotel, I guess. I never stayed at the hotel. I mean, it's a shame I don't have a, a permanent home here, right? I think it's a shame. Hey. So. Hey, Flack. Welcome to Flack and Shrapnel. Decided to check out the sh Yeah, I decided to check out the shop. What you got for sale? Oh, you have a lot of caps. So let's talk some business here. Uh. First, you do have a power helmet, damn. And you got all the steam packs you have, all the ammo that you have. Give me that. Give me that as well. Why the hell not? Uh, sure, give me that as well. Okay. Let's see what I have to sell to you. All this millimeter, five millimeter ammo you can keep. I'm not gonna use that. Mm. The flamer fuel as well. I'm not gonna 
get any of that. Uh, weapons, weapons, weapons. Most of my uh, the weapons that I don't want, I, I left at home, so I have nothing to trade with you. However, you can get the, this big book of science, the buff outs. Yeah, I don't need buff outs. The dirty water, double cover. Jet, you can keep all the jet. Mm. Perhaps eventually I could think about using cycle. I'm not there yet. Uh, stealth boy, I think I'm gonna keep the stealth boy for now. Uh, Pre-war money. Pre-war money. That's just what it is. It's just money, right? Oh, by the way, do, do you have more? No, you don't. Okay. Thank you for your... A pleasure doing business with uh, you. Pleasure is all mine. The pleasure is all mine. Hey, man. You were still mad about me. Bad for business. This time you'd better follow the rules. Ooh, okay, sorry. I didn't want to disturb your thing. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I think I've seen you in here before. Uh, yes, you actually have a grudge with me if you don't remember, but okay. I'm here to do business with you. What do you have? Brahmin skin outfit, uh, dirty Chinese jump jumpsuit. That's interesting. I've never seen that. Or maybe I have and never even noticed. Well, since now I'm having the, the power armor, these really doesn't mean much does it yeah maybe if I maybe if I have some Com some companion with me right uh, quick fix so this is like medicine and stuff rivet city supply welcome to rivet take a look around sure let me see if you have some bobby pins for me no you don't you have jack shit actually. Or a psycho recon armor. Yeah, not a lot of things, huh? But uh, I will get that. It's not much, but it's something. Thanks. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> I'm gonna walk there just to just to make this video worth a little bit, you know. <laughs> I could fast travel, but maybe the the super mutants have respawned there. I don't know. Is that Garza? It, I think it's Garza, right? Yeah, it is. I would be careful if I were you, Garza. This is a very dangerous place. Hey. Speaking of which, let me quick save just to be safe. We never know the super mutants might actually respond. I don't know. But I don't think they have. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. I've already told you guys that I've played this game before, so it's it's not a surprise that I know what's gonna happen or whatever. I just is it now that the the shit hits the fan? 
I don't remember. Hey, Is pa. everything all right? Sure. We can't accomplish anything until we can get inside. But none of us are particularly capable fighters. Okay. I hate to ask you to put yourself in harm's way, but you seem to have learned to handle yourself. I do have. I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. Sure thing, I'll be right back. Be careful. I think I've already cleared this before, but... Let's clear that again if... If I must. But I think, yeah, I think it's all safe. Hello? Anybody home? Yeah, I think it's all safe. I mean, caller. Call them and say that. It's all clear. What time is it, by the way? Almost noon. Are you all right? Is it safe in there? It is. It's not safe in there. Why? Why not? Of course it is. All right. Do. It is safe. Is it not? It is. I believe I killed everyone here. Well, unless they want me to go in he in there, but I doubt it. Well, let's check the Project Purity control room. Maybe there's some stragglers inside. They shouldn't be, but you never know. I don't see any threat. Nope. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. More sub basement. Do I have to go to the sub basement? I don't think I, I, I actually. I mean, I will have to go there, but not now. Let me try to head back there and say that it's safe. Let me just save here. Because if I can't, then I'll just load the game. Are you all right? Is it? Um, what the all hell? Right. It is safe. Me. Clear project of any me. But what do I do if there's no more living super mutants here for me to kill? Man, this game sometimes, gotta tell ya. Gotta tell ya. Let me try to come over here. I know I, I don't need to come here now. Try the sub basement. 
Perhaps if I kill the super mutants there, it will be considered safe? I don't know. There, I, I killed the super mutants. Is this good enough? I knew there would be super mutants here, but it's not necessary to come here right now, I believe. Quick save just in case. Go back to your, to your thingy. <sighs> I don't want to get dead right now. Let me go back. Now that I've killed a few super mutants, let me go back and. Uh, because I know this is not required. For now, because they don't come down here. Dr. Lee and, and my father does not come down here, so... Makes no sense that I had to clean the, the, the basement. If that doesn't work, then... I'm gonna have to look up on the, the wiki to find out what happened, what to do. There is a, a, a very strong possibility that the game glitch. Yes, it could happen. It could happen. Are you alright? Is it safe in there? <sighs> alright. It is safe in there, but I will try to find out what happened exactly. See if I can come around this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I look online and I did brief look online. I, I did not made a, a thorough investigation on this because I don't want to spoil myself. Even though, yes, I've already played this game before, of course, but regardless, I don't want to spoil myself. Where is the turret in this thing? I don't know. Uh, apparently I need to go to the... Actually I need to go to the basement, clean the basement. Even though I have no recollection of ever going there at this time. Again, I know I have to go there eventually. But I never had to go there to... To clear the mutants and make the scientists come inside this place, so... Okay, let's go to the basement and try to kill everyone. Oh. I, I actually I actually got scared there a little bit. Bit of a jump scare.
Uh, it's not powered. Okay, I need to power up the place. So let's get the the journals. Since we are here, right? So let's let's learn more about Project Purity. I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. In her place is my son, small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant, especially an infant without his mother. It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt, both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Madison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, he'll tolerate none of them. If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen? It breaks my heart to go. But I must put the needs of my child before my own. I doubt I'll be able to sleep here because there's enemies nearby. Serious for a moment, please. That. Yeah, I take the vodka. Why not? By the way, when I was in Megaton, I or Megaton, whatever. Should I? Nah, I'm not gonna mess with that. Uh, I sold all my scraps to that guy who who buys it, so just FYI. This is probably my dad's room, I guess. Better days. Lots of journal entries. Let's hear them all. So, here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. I thought I, I read a... Uh... Okay, I think I need to read this one first, maybe. Well, here we are again. Project Purity and me. It's been close to 20 years since my last entry. I'm sorry, that was my all of this clock. behind to make a life for my son. We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe. And that's all I could have hoped for. Now, my son is a grown man. Handsome, intelligent, confident. Just like his old man. <laughs> and as hard as it was to admit it, he doesn't need his daddy anymore. I think I should like I said, I, I wasn't I, I wasn't supposed to get this log right now, but Okay. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running. 
but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. That will serve for now, but I'll need help powering up the mainframe. Time to visit Madison at Rivet City. I spoke with Dr. Lee, Madison, at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. Here I come again, the very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine... God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. Better days. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please. I'm trying to work. <laughs> Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> We'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. <laughs> That's not something for a, for a son to be hearing, right? But okay. Regardless of age, I, it's weird. Yeah, I found it too. I took the nail board again by mistake. Okay, so apparently there was there was that. Let me get rid of that nail board before I forget. I mean, I have unlimited. Carrying capacity, pretty much, but I don't, I don't want that. By the way, I took back my, I got rid of the Reaper that I had, and I pick up my silenced 10 millimeter, mostly to kill small enemies like red roaches and whatnot. Because I, I honestly don't think the, the silencer on this thing actually matters. If this was on a on a better weapon, like the silencer was on a even the open you know, imagine a silencer on, on a rifle like this. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. By the way, I don't know if you guys enjoy this, the sound that the uh, the power armor does whenever you walk. I know it looks like you're a cowboy with those things on your boots, but it's a metal armor with a metal walking sound, so nothing I can do. Hello. Are you alright? Is it safe in there? Now it is. Everything there is dead. I'm proud of you. Now let's get in there. I want to talk to you about some things first. What's on your mind? I don't know, let's see. Uh, never mind, let's go back to All right. Because we can't go back to the vault after what what after what both you and me did, so. Hey. I know we didn't hey. do anything wrong, I didn't I kill like anyone in there, but you know. Damn, your vault suit is nasty. Gotta tell you. It's freaking horrible, man. I know we, we are in the end of days, but come on. Is everything alright? Yeah, go. I'm just escorting you.
Hello. Hi. Sorry. Would you imagine if I do that right now? That would be awesome, huh? <laughs> yeah. Maybe some other day. The fat man is saved for special occasions, like killing super mutant behemoths and whatnot. Hey, Daniel. Oh, great. Oh, great. What? Listen, I know who you are, okay? As far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here. So just stay out of my way. What's your story? Unlike some people around here, I stuck with Dr. Lee through it all. I was the last one to leave when we finally gave up. Now your daddy shows up out of the blue and suddenly I have to drop everything to come back and help pick up the pieces. He's just trying to do the right thing, man. Calm down. You don't need to be such an asshole. God forbid I should be upset that twice now my work has been screwed over by your father. And to make things worse, this time he brings his snot-nosed kid along for the ride. Jeez, man. Keep your hands to yourself in there. This equipment is fragile. Oh, I, how I want to kill you right now. But I'm a good guy, my karma is good. I'm not gonna do anything I might regret. Damn, Dad, you have the worst weapon in the game. You have the worst fire fire weapon in the game. Like, non melee style. You guys understood, right? Okay. Did you need something? I don't know. What do I do now? Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? <coughs> Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your Why mother's dream. Why no is point in wasting up? time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. Let's go. Be careful, my son. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the waters of life freely. 216, 216. I just noticed now there's a statue inside there. Nice. Okay, what do I... <laughs> what do I have to do here? Here we are. Rev what do we need to do right now? The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Okay. Things have deteriorated here since then. And there's been some flooding. Yeah. I'll need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. Okay, where do I need to go? The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred. So you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. Okay, let's go. Which is where I was before. Oh, right. Hey, Alex. Hey there. I hear we have you to thank for getting us up and running again. Oh, you are more nice to talk to than Daniel. What's your story? Who, me? Oh, uh, nothing special. I grew up in Rivet City and was always interested in what the scientists were doing there. Dr. Lee took me under her wing and taught me everything I know. Dan and I were out in the field when we got the call to come back. Nice. And do you think the project will ever work again? I don't see why not. Between Dr. Lee and your dad, we've got the best minds on the job. They can do just about anything. 
Yeah, I think we'll be up and running in no time. That's awesome, man. Keep the enthusiasm. Okay, I, I, I gotta go. Good luck. I thank you for you too. And I believe the shit is gonna hit the fan pretty soon. Pretty, pretty soon. You're doing great out there. Keep it up. Where am I now? You're in the security level. It's full of holding tanks for the water, as well as our processing equipment and power systems. Okay. Keep up. Yeah, I, I actually know where I have to go, so... I actually don't know where I have to go. Is it here? Okay. Got it. Great work on the pumps. Hurry back, and I'll give you the fuses you'll need. Get the fuses from Dad. Sure thing. Sure thing. Did you need something? Yeah, I need to talk to that. I've been hearing good things about you. Really? Is it true? Did you really disarm the bomb and Megaton? Yeah, I, I did. I'm very proud of you, even though you put yourself in harm's way. I was no Just big deal. Please be careful out there. This is a dangerous world. Far more dangerous than anyone in that vault knows. Yeah, I do know that. Uh, you said something about fuses? Right. The flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Uh -huh. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. Okay. Be careful, my son. No problem, Dad. It should be easy. It feels weird to be here and wearing a Brotherhood power armor, right? I mean, hey, for for everything we know, I I, I found it. I found that outcast bunker, I completed the simulation like they asked me to. And this is my reward, man. I I don't care. I don't care if it's realistic or not. Mm, nah, I'm not gonna sleep. Place, you should be able to access the mainframe. No need to come back to the control room. Just head straight there. Okay. I believe this is the way. the right place. I don't think I am. Okay, Dad, I need some directions here. How are you holding up? Need directions? Yeah. 
Where do I go from here? You're on the right level. Head to the western end and look for the large automated door. Okay. Western end. Large automated door. I mean, there was a large auto automated door. There is a gun here. I'll take it. In the very beginning of this area, but... Okay, let me try to go there. Even though I'm not sure if it's actually there that I need to go, but... Okay. Yep, it is. Just need a few minutes until we can access the mainframe. Use the intercom so I can tell you where to go next. There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Jana says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom when you get there. Okay. I'll see you when you get back. Uh, that's actually in the pipe that I was in the beginning. Yeah, the shit's gonna hit the fan pretty soon. Not to spoil anything, but... This video might be a little bit more... extensive than usual. I mean, I know I have had videos with almost three hours of duration, but... This one might be up, up there. be just outside the pipe that's been giving us trouble. Now don't worry, this isn't dangerous at all. Okay. Just get inside and use the manual controls to drain the pipe. That'll break up the debris enough for the filters to function properly. Is it dangerous? No, not at all. You'll just need to turn a valve. It'll only take a moment. Okay, going in. Now I won't be able to contact you once you're in there. You'll exit near the systems, and then you can get in touch with me again. Fine. What time is it, by the way? It's 9.48. Can I wait? It's the enclave. We all know what that means. Now, why would the enclave be right here?
Come on, man. I'm no enemy. Or doesn't want to play with me, huh? He's limping, but he's coming over. Oh boy! Yeah, thank you. Yeah, their their armor is too strong for the old painless. I mean, the old painless is good, but maybe for a uh, surprise shot, a sneak shot, or doing combat, actually, the the magnum is probably the best bet. Even though my magnum is. Pretty worse for wear, but okay. I missed. Code Nuka Cola. By the authority of the president, this facility is now under United States government control. The person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to this project. That's quite impossible. This is a private project. The Enclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, Colonel. I'll do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project and aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Give me a few moments to bring the system online. Enough of these delays. Nearly finished. Run. Run! What have you done, Dad? What is he doing in there? James. He's gone. Yeah. We have to get out of here. They'll be coming for us next. We've got to evacuate now. What the hell just happened? James, your father caused an overload. He sacrificed himself to keep the Enclave from getting the purifier, and to buy us some time to escape. There'll be more of them coming. 
We need to get out of here before they find us, or else your father died in vain. I'm not leaving my father in there. I just found him. There's nothing anyone can do for him now. The radiation levels in there are lethal. You'd die the same way he did. We need to get out of here now. Shit. How do we how do we get out of here? We used an old abandoned tunnel as an escape route once before, many years ago. Everyone should know how to find it. We need to get there right now. Let's go. Okay. Uh I'm gonna end the video here, guys. It's a nice. A nice uh What's the word that I'm gonna use? I don't know. I'm gonna end the video here, and next time I'm gonna help escort Docs, Dr. Madison Lee to whatever, she, wherever she wanna go. So I appreciate everyone for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. As always, have a good one and take care.